In the last lesson, we talked a little bit about functions versus relations. So relations are when we can connect two quantities to each other uh, through sets. A function is specific type of relation where we have one element in set A maps onto one element in set B. <clears throat> okay, so that is a function where we have a relation that is not a function is when we have one element on in set A mapping onto more than one element in set B. Okay, so this is a situation where we have a not, this is not a relate, not a function. This is just a relation. It's okay if we have two elements in set A mapping onto the same element in set B. That would be okay. Okay, so that's okay for functions. But what we're looking for basically is this one to two situation where the input maps onto two outputs. Okay, and that is where we have, it, it doesn't pass our function test. So that's functions. What we're going to look at today is we're looking at <coughs> a way to write functions. And we use something called function notation. Okay, and then really for the is for the most basic concept of it, or the kind of the first layer of understanding of this, it's really it's just a different way of writing y. So if we have two equations, okay, or two relationships here, y equals uh, 3x squared minus 3x, and we have another y equals 2x plus 1. These are two different relationships, and we can differentiate them with either y1 and y2. So that's one way we can differentiate them. We can also use something called function notation. Okay, and this function notation becomes very important. So we're going to start by using it to differentiate two different equations. And we're just going to say that we're going to, instead of saying it's y, we're going to call it f of x. Okay, f bracket x. It really means, it reads f of x. And it does not mean f times x, by the way. Okay, it just means that we have a function f. And the variable we're going to use in that function is x. And we're going to just use this whole thing to replace y. So we can say that y1, we can say that is the f function. And we write it f bracket x or f of x equals 3x squared minus 3x. And then we can use a different variable g. And this is read g of x. And again, this is not g times x. That's very important that we don't start seeing this as time. Some of you look at math and just visually see, oh, that must mean time. No, that does not mean times. This is all one piece, meaning g of x. It's just another way to write y. And we can just replace that y and say that g of x is equal to 2x plus 1. And this allows us to differentiate between this function, the one with the square, and this function, which is our linear function. 